Listen guys, before we get started in today's video, I just want to wish you all the happiest of Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Eve right now. I'm not gonna see you for Christmas Day. So I appreciate you guys rocking out with me. Merry Christmas, much love. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays. All right guys, to the video. Guys, you saw the opening to the video at the beginning where you saw my 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye wide body which i referred to as killmonger if you don't remember what happened with that whole series the good the bad and the ugly go back and look at it uh there's a playlist attached here my dodge challenger hellcat red eye killmonger started out as just a stock 2019 dodge challenger hellcat red eye and uh i left it there pretty much for the most part ran it stock as much as i wanted to because to me, the car was plenty, plenty fast. As a matter of fact, what I wanted to find out was how much horsepower does a Hellcat Red Eye make from the factory? And as you could see here, It made 702 wheel horsepower on a dyno jet dyno. Pretty impressive. I mean, the day of being able to go to a dealership and drive out with a car making 700 horsepower to the wheels is crazy. However, something that always bothered me and that was the fact that the red eye was basically a demon in that it carried the same engine, the same supercharger, the same transmission, and a lot of the same features. The only thing that was missing from the Demon was the smaller brakes, which comes with lighter weight, uh, the 18 inch all around wheels, which now comes on a super stock, and the biggest thing, suspension. Suspension makes a huge difference with the Demon, as well as trans brake and those features that come, those specific drags features. But as far as engine transmission and all the things that make the power, exactly the same. So how come the Demon could have 808 horsepower on 93 and 840 horsepower on a race gas tune? I thought was, why not give that to the Red Eye? So since they didn't make that available, what I did was I got with my partners at Diablo Sport and I said, hey guys, I wanna turn this Red Eye into a Demon. Um, for the Demon, in order to do that, you have to put in the race PCM. So I had Diablo Sport provide me their PCM program, which would act as my race PCM. And then what I had Team Hellcat do was because they've tuned Demons, they had the factory base file for the Demon. Letter for letter, line for line. Remember, tuning is only coding. That's all tuning is, but it's coding based off of exact information. Working with Team Hellcat, I actually had them provide the exact race file tune that is provided on the race PCM from the Demon from Dodge. The reason why they have access to that is because when you tune a vehicle, you have to save the backup file, which is your factory tune. So therefore, I was able to use the Demon race tune, apply it to the PCM provided by Diablo Sport, and then using the Diablo Sport Trinity, I was able to load that race tune onto that race PCM. So for a matter of just the Diablo Sport Trinity tuner and the race PCM, I was able to provide a 100 octane race gas tune to my Red Eye. And then I took it back to the dyno and it did this. <laughs> that 740 so it went up 38 wheel horsepower so the demon calibration raised it 38 wheel horsepower there you have it guys it added 38 wheel horsepower so it took it from 702 to 740 so therefore i was super stoked and i went out and did some 60 to 130s to see the difference Stock, the best I could get was a 7.7, 7, 7 .7, and then once I added the Demon Race Gas Tune, it did a 7.2. So I shaved 0.5 off my 60 to 130. That means on a drag strip, 
that's probably going to translate to something very similar, probably about that same 0.5 difference in the quarter mile. So it works amazing. And the best part about it for me, it was all factory components, all factory parts, nothing changed. So therefore I would retain my warranty kind of, but Dodge has a way of knowing if you've changed the PCM or done something where they generate a code that's a P1400 that if I were to blow my motor or anything like that, they can track back that there was a change made. So lo and behold, Dodge has now provided or what they've came out with is stage kits. Now, what's really cool about these stage kits are the biggest feature is that you retain your factory warranty. Let me tell you, although I had an amazing time racing people, gapping people, AKA hurting feelings, now available on moddefame.com. And just so you know, check this out. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Chris Childs and I'm here with Big Perp. Yeah, that big beauty in the back. I'm here to tell you how you can take her home free and clear. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to moddefame.com and I'm gonna tell you how to win. All right, so every $5 spent gets you an entry. So everything you see there, all the cool stuff, like this shirt, those stickers, yeah, it gains you an entry. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. You get a chance to win her. Why not take her home and wear cool stuff? Tell them Chris sent you. You heard the lady. <laughs> you buy something like this and that enters you to win my wide body Dodge Charger RT. Amazing deal. Retaining a warranty, the reason why that's so crazy important is the fact that you can actually mod your car now and keep the warranty for, I just think that's absolutely amazing. So therefore, let's talk about what Dodge has released and what cars is it for? As of right now, they've released it for the Dodge Challenger only. Why Dodge Challenger only? I don't know. Maybe so that they can make another announcement later for the Charger. But for right now, it's just for the Char Challenger. So you have what's called a pre-stage kit. And with that pre-stage kit, you have this tuner, which looks exactly like my Diablo Sport tuner. So for an example, I got my Diablo Sport tuner. I had a 180 degree thermostat, like this pre-stage kit that's here that's supposed to take your 717 horsepower standard Hellcat up to 722 horsepower. And then on a red eye, the pre-stage kit goes from 797 to 802 horsepower. But the real purpose of the pre-stage kit is because you're going to get one of the either stage one or stage two. You're not gonna get a pre-stage kit for nothing. Now, where things get interesting is for the standard Hellcat. Let's talk about that one first. If you own a 2015 and up Hellcat, you can get a stage one. And with that stage one, you will receive a pulley. Um, that pulley looks like a Litton's decoupling pulley. Uh, but with the stage one on a standard Hellcat, in addition to the pre-stage kit, it adds the decoupling pulley and it adds a tune specifically for that pulley. Um, that is gonna raise your horsepower from either 707 or 717, depending on the year your Hellcat, up to 757 horsepower and 696 foot-pounds of torque. And the cost to do that on the standard Hellcat is an additional 1195. So that means for about $2,400, you can increase your horsepower with all factory warranty and factory warranty backed for the cost of the parts of only $2,400. Now what I don't have is what the power broker dealers who you have to have it installed by to maintain your warranty. Um, I'm not sure what they're gonna charge as far as labor, but it's a PCM swap. The pulley swap is gonna be way more labor intensive though. That might be a little costly. So I'm not sure what that's gonna cost, but in parts, you're looking at $2,400. Now, if you have a red eye, the stage one is what I did to my red eye, which is essentially putting the Demon Race Gas Tune, the Demon 100 Octane Tune on your red eye, giving you access to that tune for your factory red eye, raising the horsepower to 840. And as you guys saw from my experience, 740 wheel is only a 10% loss of drivetrain to 840. So therefore, it's actually a little bit more than 840. Um, but that being said, 840 to match the demon, crank horsepower. And to do that, 
it's only an additional $395 on top of the pre-stage kit, which is $1,195. So it's $1,195 plus $395, and that gets you a stage one 840 horsepower, which I think in part prices, that's a good bang for buck. That is a pretty darn good bang for buck. And then lastly, there's a stage two that Mopar is going to be offering. And the stage two on the is only available for the red eye. It adds that 3.17. They're calling it the Heliphant pulley, um, which is the same, uh, the Litton's pulley. And that would be in another 1195, but it would raise the horsepower of the red eye to you guys ready for this? I'm pretty impressed myself. 885 horsepower and 787 foot pounds of torque maintaining factory emissions, maintaining warranty. Almost 900 horsepower, maintaining warranty. What does this mean? Well, if you're a quarter mile racer, you add a drag pack on that thing, you're going nines because a factory stock red eye, um, I ran it on a 20 inch wheel and tire, uh, just a radio, 20 inch tire radial, and I ran a 10.5. I ran a 10.5 at almost 130 mile an hour. So therefore, I know with an additional 80, what is that, 89 horsepower? With an additional 89 horsepower, that thing is going to go nines, 100%. So you're going to have a nine second full warranty backed car. I think that's awesome, guys. I think that's totally awesome. So there you have it. That is Dodge's new power brokers along with their direct connection parts program and their stage kits for your Hellcat Challenger or Hellcat Challenger Red Eye stages pre-stage, stage one, and then for Red Eye stage two. If there's any questions you guys have, you're more than welcome to ask in the comments below, but I'll be updating with new videos as this stuff come out. But I wanted to provide you the most real world experience there's no other channel that can provide you dyno information for the stage kit there's no other that's going to provide you 60 to 130 times for these stage kits because they are officially coming out in 2022 but because your boy steph is ahead of the bell curve i did it to my red eye already at least the stage one so now you have an idea of what it's going to be for you if you decide to do a stage one on your red eye it's already been done so the title and thumbnail is not clickbait this has been done by me it's your boy Stephen here from mod to fame and if you like this video you know what to do like subscribe share hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward but until the next one about to hop in my twin turbo hellcat for christmas we out we out are you ready you ready 40, 40.